Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination. Uh, so we are going to start a series on the exceptions in Java and then we will be discussing on exception handling as well. So first of all, what is the agenda of uh, uh, current session or current lecture? Uh, we will be discussing about what are the exceptions in Java, exceptions versus error, different type of exceptions. Uh, so we have two type of exceptions, built-in exceptions and custom exceptions. Built-in means uh, which is something defined by the system. For example, uh, Java has defined a null pointer exception, right? And uh, for example, if we are using Selenium, then no such element exception is defined by some something by Selenium library. And custom exception is which we uh, like derive out of exception class depending on the need. Okay, so uh, let me jump on to one diagram uh, wherein I'll show you like what how the exception looks like in the hierarchy. So object is the uh, parent most class of uh, class in Java, I mean, which is the parent of each class. We string, you create any class. Object is uh, by default its parent, right? Uh, topmost parent. So under object, we have throwable class, which is parent of error and exception. So error is like a complete uh, like blockage. For example, we quote, uh, we are working uh, at home and our uh, power uh, went down, right? So this is kind of error which uh, we cannot come out, right? For example, we are working on system and our system went to shut down mode. So this is what we cannot handle. But yeah, exception is something which which can be handled. So exception, if we go by the definition, dictionary definition, this is something abnormal, right? Uh, so it is something exceptional case, similar to exceptional case, right, which can be handled. Okay, so there are two types of exceptions in Java or in any language. I'm uh, mainly to going to talk about from the Java side. So there are two types. One is runtime exception and then there is a compiler, compile time exception, right? Runtime exception is known as unchecked exception, right? And the compile time exception is known as checked exception. So what is the reason that compile time is known as checked and runtime is known as unchecked? So we will be discussing on those things uh, in the upcoming, uh, like uh, in, in this lecture itself, uh, like uh, I'm now jumping onto the code. So I have created two classes, one is checked and another is uh, unchecked, okay. So I'm going to talk about the exceptions first, handling we will be discussing later on, okay. So if you look at it, I have defined one file, right. Uh, this is to point to a particular file which we want to read. So file input stream is responsible for reading a file. So in this case, we defined the object, we have pointed to the file and then after we are now um, trying to read it. Okay. So if you will observe, it says there is a exception um, uh, which need to be handled. Okay. Unhandled exception. So this is where the compiler is intelligent enough to understand that this is the exception. So when the compiler is able to tell you that this is the exception that you are going to get, right? Or this is the exception that you need to handle. That kind of exception is known as checked exception because compiler knows it beforehand. There is a way I'm going to temporarily add what I need to do. I'm just hovering over here. You just need to click on add exception to the method signature. So we will be discussing on handling part later on. So uh, let us not deep dive into it. I just want, it, want to make you clear that this is how the checked exception that compiler is able to understand. Then comes the unchecked exception. So if you look at it, I have defined one array wherein uh, which is which has size uh, six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, right? And uh, array, as you are aware, that start from the zeroth index. So this is zeroth, and the last uh, uh, value will have the will be on the fifth index, right? But what I'm doing, I'm trying to get the sixth index, which is nothing but the uh, which is out of bound, right? Which is not available, right? Which is not defined by this array. So if uh, we will run it, uh, then what will happen? We will get it at the runtime, right? Because compiler is not intelligent enough what you are going to provide and what is going to happen. So in this case, uh, we are going to get the array index out of bound exception because six out of bound, six is something which is not defined by this array, right? But in case, for example, if I provide five, then, uh, let me run it, right? When I will run it, uh, this time I won't get it, right? So I'll be able to get the latest value. So this is what is, um, for example, uh, the unchecked exception. Why it is known, an, uh, known as unchecked? Because compiler is unable to tell you beforehand that 
this is the exception that you are going to get so a few more examples of uh, runtime exceptions are null pointer exception because you are not aware right like what will be the value at the runtime so you may get object value as null then there is no such element exception which is again uh, like uh, unchecked exception because uh, you write driver dot find element and on the fly you you get to know that uh, there is no such element uh, like available available right at that time uh, we get no such element exception then uh, arithmetic exception for example i try dividing it dividing a number by zero right there also i'll get um, arithmetic exception or unchecked exception so these are some of the unchecked ex uh, exception and uh, whatever we just talked about for example file input output or file not found these are checked exception so this is it uh, uh, this is the introduction of uh, how or what are the exceptions and how it is different from the errors uh, so thank you for watching this session i'll request you to please uh, like share and subscribe because it will work as a booster for me and work as a motivation for me to create more such videos and such, more such content in a very simple language so that anyone who will go through these lectures will be able to understand uh, once again thank you uh, for watching the session see you in the next lecture thank you